GTL is a culture media specifically designed for time-lapse embryo culture. I will now demonstrate to you the use of GTL in the PrimoVision time-lapse system. To prepare your PrimoVision culture dish, load each well individually with GTL and then cover all of the wells with an additional 80 microliters of GTL. Make sure that you keep the droplet as flat as possible and avoid the formation of air bubbles. The rim around the microwells does not mark the edge of the proposed culture droplet. The function of this rim is merely to stabilize the droplet of culture media. Add an additional two droplets of GTL as wash droplets and then cover it with oil. Equilibrate this dish at 37 degrees Celsius and 6% CO2 overnight. GMOPS is a handling media specifically designed to work with zygotes and embryos for longer periods outside of the incubator. You can warm GMOPS Plus in rinsed tubes and tightly capped uh, in an incubator overnight um, without CO2. Alternatively, you can also use a heated block to use the GMOPS Plus to warm it up. At the time of fertilization check, denude the oocytes and assess them for fertilization in the GIVF Plus dish in which they were inseminated. However, if you know that this procedure will take longer than two minutes, we recommend that you use GMOPS Plus. This will allow for a much more stable environment for the zygotes and the oocytes to be assessed in. Remove the cumulus and the corona cells with a denudation pipette and assess them for fertilization at 37 degrees Celsius. If you are assessing the ICSI then you can use the G1 Plus dish, the micro droplet dish that you have prepared the day before. Before you start your time lapse culture, check your PrimoVision culture dish for air bubbles and remove if they are present. You can now wash your zygotes in the GTL wash droplets that you prepared the day before and then place the zygotes in the micro wells, one zygote per well. Culture them at 6% CO2 and 37 degrees Celsius. You can now make use of the PrimoVision software to analyze your embryos and look at the embryo development.